Thursday morning, just after the press conference, I'm here with the head coach of the Czech team, Jiří Fultera. Good morning. Good morning. And with the vice president of International Gatma Federation, Mr. Richard Fox. Good morning to you. Good morning. Richard, it's Thursday. The race is starting tomorrow. What's your feeling about Prague, Troy? Well, it, it looks like everything is in, in place. We prepared the competition well. And the meeting yesterday with the team showed that we've uh, done good the work. The water level looks stable. So I think we can look forward to the competition. What's your leader for the race? My leader? Yes. Who I think will come through well. We know that when you have a home course, you have a strong advantage, so the Czechs are very hard to, to beat. Kalile, Hugatova, uh, uh, and so on. So yeah, I think you can expect very strong showing from the Czechs. So like that. There's very strong level of competition. Do you agree, Jirko? Czech powers yeah. are the biggest leaders? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, I, I hope we are on our own course. Uh, yet yeah, they know the course very well. But uh, sometimes you, you know you can, you can have a bad luck and you can you can lose very very easily in our in our score. But I, I hope that our athletes will be in our front. What's your tip? What will be what's the goal of Czech team? I mean, I'm never doing the tips because uh, I could uh, forget somebody, so I, I will wait. Well, let's, uh, we have uh, World Cup 2010, but the year 2013, that's the time for World Championships. Richard, do you believe that this will be no problem for the organizers in France so, uh, to get ready for the absolutely correct World Championship 2013? Well, you have a lot of experience already with organizing World Cups and of course World Championships not so long ago, 2006. So I think uh, the preparation for 2013 should be hard. Building towards London 2012, and the year after the Olympic Games, it's a good time to promote the sport well. And you have a good team of people, it's an experienced team, so I'm sure in good cooperation with the ICF and we prepare for a very good world. It's really unique to have the World Championship on the very same place just in seven years. What was the, what was the reason why ICF decided to promise the World Championship in Prague just in seven years? Well, we have a, a bidding process and uh, the Czech Republic put forward uh, Prague for, for 2013. I think a lot of countries, they look forward to 2015 for the, the pre-Olympic year. And uh, I suppose uh, there was a good opportunity there, and, and the front was the strong. So there okay. wasn't only only one big reason why you have decided to do, uh, to promise the World Championships in Prague. Yeah. No, no, no. It, it was an open process, and Czech Republic applied, and obviously with the experience of organizing World Championships and, and many World Cups, they were successful. Gaining it, but yeah, 2015, the pre Olympic year is the target for other federations. In this case, it's good, we have three years to prepare. And it's 100 years anniversary of Czech Republic. Irko, what will be more, more important, Olympic Games 2012 or World Championship at the home court 2013? I think it's hard to say because Olympic Games is Olympic Games. I think on the on level of media, it's never it's more important for for media than than Olympics. But but still, uh, I think for for the athletes, uh, it's, uh, maybe World Championships is uh, more has more value. Saying uh, Yuzi Pultara, the head coach of Czech team. Thank you for your answers. And the Vice President Richard Fox, Vice President of International Kano Federation, thank you and I hope you will enjoy the race in Prague Trail. We will, thank you. Thank you.